Hi, I'm Michael Sutton, owner at Kind Home Solutions, and today I'm joined by Tom Carmichael, our lead estimator, sales manager. Tom, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Glad to be here. Excited to go over one of the most asked questions we get from our future clients. How much does it cost to paint a house? Some people may have an idea of what it costs to paint an exterior, and some may have no clue at all. So we're gonna answer that question once and for all and lay out all the details that go into estimating an exterior. We're gonna cover various pricing factors such as size of the home, uh, the prep work that goes into it, different paint products that can be utilized, woodwork, and how multiple colors, multiple windows, and the type of siding can affect the overall cost of a painting project. Please do keep in mind that we're in Denver, Colorado, and these prices will vary from state to state. For our examples, we're gonna use an average job cost from 2019 as our baseline. I'd like to also say that when painting an exterior, there are many factors at play and costs can vary greatly home to home. That's right. Uh, ultimately, every house is unique and different, as you well know. Uh, different elements will need to be addressed to come up with a good cost for a home. Uh, most standard exterior paint jobs, uh, you should expect to spend between $3,000 and $5,000. Yeah. As an example, in 2019, we painted 600 exteriors and we had an average job size right around 4,500. From that average, we had 20 homes that were over $10,000 and 60 homes that were under 3,000. So there's quite a range. Yeah, for instance, uh, this home we painted at $10,000 versus this next one, which cost only 4,000. So Tom, how does a painter calculate their price? Great question. Uh, when calculating the cost of a project, most painters are gonna use measurements to come up with a formula based on the square footage of the body and the linear footage of the trim on the home. This gives them an idea of how much paint will be needed. Uh, once they have an idea of how much paint we need, we use that as a base number and start looking at things like the different materials, labor, and adjust the pricing accordingly. So in calculating the cost of materials, what is the most critical component that most people may not think of? That would definitely be the cost of the prep work that goes into the project. Uh, the prep work is essential to a lasting job. When you look at the prep, there are three items that painters generally look at. How much scraping is there going to be, how much priming, and how much caulking is necessary to get the home prepared to be painted. Uh, higher grades of materials may mean an increase in costs, but it will up the value of the overall project. I'd like to add that depending on how frequently you've painted your home and what state your house is in, there can be an additional charge for prep. If your home does require significant prep, you can expect to see anywhere from an increase of $500 to $2,000 added to your project. And prep is definitely not the place to save money on your project. A great prep leads to a longer lasting paint job. How much does trim affect the price of a paint job? Well, painting trim can be a very time consuming process, uh, but most painters will paint trim by hand rather than spraying. And wrap trim is another thing to keep in mind here. Wrap trim means the sides of your trim board are painted the trim color rather than the body color. Uh, this elevates the look of your home, adding depth, but it is more time consuming. So again, more time and more labor needed to complete your project means additional cost. Let's talk about paint products. I think it's a very common misconception in the painting industry that all paints are created equal. Yeah, this, this couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, there's a massive range in the quality and cost of paint products uh, on the market, and the product you use greatly impacts the cost. Economy paints may cost less per gallon up front, but they typically end up requiring more paint to get the right coverage and thickness on your home. Top of the line paints like Sherwin-Williams Emerald or Benjamin Moore Aura will have a higher price point per gallon, but they'll provide far superior coverage and longevity on your painting project. Top of the line paint may cost more upfront, but will last significantly longer, saving you time and money down the line. Especially if you live in a place like Colorado where the paint tends to fade much faster. So Tom, what are some other details that folks may not think about when getting a price for their paint job? 
A big one is multiple colors. Uh, if you decide to use multiple colors on your home, it will require more masking, and the crew or painters will also need to clean out all their equipment before introducing a new color and changing out that equipment. And most companies do have a standard number of colors that they allow, and they have a per color charge for each additional color. We personally allow up to four colors and then charge 200 for each additional color on the home. Another thing that can add more prep costs is a lot of windows on the home. Uh, because we also need to fully mask every window with masking film to keep the windows clean and protected. This plastic and paper can add up on each job, so more windows will create more cost. What about wood windows as opposed to vinyl or fiberglass windows? Wood windows require a bit more TLC. Because each window needs to be treated with an oil-based primer uh, and then painted by hand. For wood windows, you can expect to see additional costs anywhere from $500 to $2,000 on your project. How can the height of the home affect the cost of a project? Well, as you can imagine, a 30-foot home is going to be more difficult to paint than a 10-foot home. Uh, the ladders needed for a 30-foot home are much larger, much heavier, and more dangerous to work on. Uh, when it comes to three-story walkouts and homes built into sloped terrain, uh, they can create extremely challenging access issues for our painters. Most painters will add additional cost if your home requires extra equipment or safety precautions to paint. A really important component for calculating how much paint is needed is the type of siding or substrate that will be painted. Yeah, there's a wide range of substrates out there, but a few common examples we see here in Colorado, um, you have cedar siding, hardy board, MDF, uh, stucco, and brick. Uh, raw brick is gonna use more paint because it's a porous surface. It likes to soak up a lot of paint if it hasn't been painted before. Um, that's gonna result in more paint to get even coverage and more labor to apply the paint. Yeah. Other things you can expect, cedar siding, MDF, uh, hardy board, uh, they're gonna require replacement. Uh, rotten wood needs to be replaced. Woodwork can dramatically change the cost of your overall project, and when siding and trim boards fail, they need to be replaced before painting. Woodwork adds up, so we recommend staying on top of any rotten boards and getting them replaced or sealed as quickly as possible. Maintaining a home here in Colorado is very important. Not all companies provide woodwork replacement services, so be sure to check directly with your painter to confirm. Most clients who need wood replacement will typically see an additional cost between $200 and $1,500 for the woodwork. Lastly, lead paint. It can add additional cost to your paint job. You also need to check with your painter to see if they're lead certified. Extra thick masting plastic, respirators, and jumpsuits are just some of the additional costs associated with painting lead homes. There are very few paint companies here in Colorado that are lead certified. So do your research when it comes to selecting a painter to handle your lead home. Well, Tom, thank you for taking all the time with us today and helping answer one of the most common questions we get, how much it costs to paint a house. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, and be sure to get an exact estimate on your home if you wanna know how much it costs to paint your specific home. Thank you for watching our video today. Hope it was helpful and you learned something about how much it costs to paint an exterior. Stay tuned to our channel. We'll have another video coming up soon where we're in the field and we actually estimate a house together. Feel free to check out our website, check us out on social media, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.